Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to be learning about our ears. So, there, there are three main parts of your ear. And that is your outer ear, your middle ear, and your inner ear. So, let's talk about the, the outer parts of your ear. So the outer parts are your antenna and your ear canal. So when the sound wave movements in the antenna, it gets stored and then moves into the ear canal. And your antenna is right here and your ear canal is right here. So when the sound waves move through the ear canal, also known as auditory canal, it reaches your tympanic membrane or eardrum. And when it lights, it moves three bones called the ossicles. The names are the malus, the ancus, and the stapes. And when these three ossicles move, it moves fluid in the cochlea. And when the fluid moves, it moves little tiny hairs in the cochlea. And those little tiny hairs move with the fluid. And that makes nerve messages. So all the messages move up to the nerve, all the way to the brain. But guess what? That's not all. The ear doesn't, the ear doesn't just control hearing, but also controls your balance. So have you heard of semicircular tubes? Semicircular tubes they are tubes, and they have a fluid in them. When that fluid moves, it tells the brain that you are moving. And when it tells the brain that you are moving, that that's how you know that you are moving around. But, but that's also what is responsible for making you dizzy. So, let me explain. So, you've been dizzy and unbalanced before, right? Mm hmm So, the reason, because since you're moving around so much, since you're moving around so much, that made the fluid in the semicircular tube still move, making a brain think that you are still moving. Mm. Mm -hmm. And there's something called erect, and it acts just like mucus. And when it acts, it just acts just like mucus, so what the same way. Where the dust particles, or grass and dust particles, get captured get captured in the earwax. So you're telling me that earwax is actually good? Mm-hmm. But you always need to take it out because if it overflows, then it can cause loss of hearing because sound waves are just going to get caught in it. And also, have you heard of a ruptured tympanic membrane? Hmm, what's that? And it's when the tympanic membrane explodes because it vibrates too much due, due to loud sounds. Mm hmm. And, a, and another way to prevent it, what, another, 
is the keeper. You're going to dry. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's some awesome stuff there. Mm -hmm. Very awesome. So, so the airs. Mm, go ahead. So I like, so don't forget your ears doesn't doesn't only control your hearing but also controls your balance. Mm -hmm. Just like your cerebellum, a part of your brain. Mm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow, Jaden, that was some good stuff today. Yay! Thank you so much for teaching me about the ears. And here's an extra fact. Mm -hmm. Your ossicles are located in your tympanic cavity. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, that, so that's all for today, my friends. Bye! Thank you.